Right, well, he is a nationally recognized volunteer, nationally recognized. Mm -hmm. He has given back to so many in our community, but here's the amazing thing. He is still in middle school. Oh, amazing. But now as Andy Choi sits down with Caleb White to see exactly why he's dedicated to giving back. If you see someone that needs help, you shouldn't just pass them by. It's been the mantra of 12-year-old Caleb White for about half his life. It started six years ago when he saw someone who could use a little help. I saw this man on the side of the road, and he was homeless, but at that time, I didn't really know what it meant to be homeless, so I asked my mom, and... I just felt like I couldn't let that moment go, you know? I mean, I think that kids see things so much differently than adults do. I don't know. I think I just thought... If I were out there, it just I would want help too. I just couldn't imagine being out in the cold. And so Caleb went to work, handing out warm clothing during the winter months, providing backpacks and supplies for school children. He gave his all to those who could use it all. And this past year, Caleb was honored as one of two Michigan Youth Volunteers of the Year. The award sent him to Washington, D.C., where Prudential selected 10 winners for its National Youth Volunteer Award. And guess who they selected? From Clifford Smart Middle School in Wallet Lake, Michigan, Caleb White. When you have your own child in your house, you know, it's just your kid. He doesn't pick up his clothes from the floor and he's late for practice or, you know. And then when he gets this award, it kind of hits you like, wow, you know, he's doing incredible things also. When he was announced as the national winner, um, his mom reached out to me with a phone call and, and she was very emotional, she was so excited. We were physically screaming throughout the office, Caleb won, Caleb won, the kids could hear us down the hallways. I saw all these kids coming together that had different things and they were changing the world and it just felt great to like see that. Caleb says the recognition is nice, but he's ready to give even more. And he's got some advice for kids who might be thinking about giving back even just a little. Everything big starts somewhere small, so if you see someone that needs help, just go out there and help them just any way you can every day. In Wald Lake, Andy Choi, the now Detroit. Wisdom way beyond his oh, years. Oh, an incrededly young man. How proud his parents must be as we're here with his mom. There. We're going to keep an eye on him. Yeah, I think he's going places, right? He's, he's making places. a huge difference in this world as he already is. Still heading your way today.